Today we're going to be installing wiring harness part number 46155 from Hoppy on a 2006 Dodge Stratus. Okay, we're inside the trunk area. We're going to go ahead and locate the wiring on the Stratus that we're going to need to tap into with the converter kit. As you can see, we've got some interior covering that's actually covering up the wiring that we're going to need to locate. So the first thing we want to do is remove this rear threshold piece here. And there's a few pop rivets that we're going to need to remove. And then with removing those, we can pull that back and gain access to the wires here on the driver's side. Because you can see the main lead feeding to the passenger side is right here. We can tap into the right turn signal from this location. The converter that we're going to be using, as you can see, has five wires to it. We've got the white, which is a ground. We've got a brown, which is the running light lead. A yellow, which is the left turn. The green, which is the right turn and the red, which is the stop lead. We're going to need to locate each individual function here on the wiring harness and manually tap these wires directly into them. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and attach the ground wire to the body panel here. And that's going to give me a suitable grounding point so I can test my functions. And you can see the kit also comes with a, a tester. And what we do is we take this alligator clip and we'll clip that directly to the ground, like so. And then we can take the pointed end and probe each individual wire until we find the, the wire that we're looking for. I'm actually going to go ahead and use my own personal tester here. And the first thing I'm going to look for is the left turn signal. It looks, looks to be the solid green wire here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the scotch locks, which again are provided in the installation kit. We want to go ahead and open those up. As you can see, it just clips here. What you need to do is just simply unclip that side there and that'll allow you to put the scotch lock over the existing wire. And then we're going to take the yellow wire, which again is the left turn function, slide it through the other side until it hits the stop that's in there. And we're going to take a pair of pliers here and crimp that down, a little metal tab there, and that's going to make our connection for us. After that, you just simply press the cover over the top and our connection's made. We're going to use that same type of connector for each of the functions that we're going to be testing for. Next, we're going to be testing for the running light lead. And that's going to be the black wire with the yellow stripe on it. And then we're going to test for the brake lead, which is going to be the white wire with the tan stripe. And then lastly, the right turn function. And that's going to be the tan wire here. We want to go ahead and make our connections for each one of those functions as well. All right, now that we've got our connections made, we can go ahead and tape them up. We want to go ahead and take the four pole loop that comes with the kit as well. And we're just going to plug that directly into the converter box here. We're going to go ahead and add a small amount of dielectric grease that is also provided with the, the kit as well. Apply it to our connection points and that will prevent corrosion. Add our four pole cover here onto the, the end. And then we just want to secure any loose wires that we have, put our covering back on, and then our installation will be complete. And this will conclude the installation of wiring harness part number 46155 on a 2006 Dodge Stratus.